Hi guys, how are we? So today I am going to be making an appetizer. I figured with fall coming in just a few months to weeks, uh, what better way than to kick off with a fun little appetizer. I think this is a great appetizer for um, football season. It's great to just freeze if you want to make it for um, like a party and you're not really going for another couple days or something. You can easily freeze this before or after it's cooked. But if you know ahead of time that you're not going to be um, eating it within the next day or so, I would wait and then have it all together and then cook it up. Um, or you can just make it and eat it like tonight is our family movie night. So I am doing a little smorgasbord type thing for our dinner tonight to go with our movie. And I will be adding this in. Now this is called a Texas trash. I don't know why it's called that. I did not give it that name. Uh, if you guys know why it's called Texas trash, go ahead and let me know down below. But I got this um, recipe off of Pinterest. So I am going to share it with you and I will link it down in the description box below. So if you want to make it, you can go down to the description box and find the recipe there. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so when I tell you this is a super easy, super simple recipe, I am not just saying it, I mean it. I love simple. I love to make things for my family, but I also like to be quick and easy because I just don't want to spend my whole day in the kitchen cooking things up for my family. So to get started, you do need some cheese, some sour cream, a blender, or you can use your own like hand stuff to mix it. You need some taco seasoning, some cream cheese, and some uh, refried beans. So to get started, you just need to pour in your refried beans. Open the refried beans and you just put them on in. And So then, once your beans are in, you go ahead and and you're going to add the entire thing of cream cheese in here. So I did my two cans of refried beans, and now I'm doing an entire can of, or an entire package of the cream cheese. And then you do one cup of sour cream. I'm assuming this whole thing is just gonna be a cup but just to be sure, I'll measure it out. Yep, I was right. So we got our one cup here. And then you do your taco seasoning. And then you do your cheese. So the recipe says two cups of shredded Monterey Jack cheese and two cups of cheddar cheese. 
However, I have made it with a bunch of different cheeses. Um, my family's go-to is uh, Kobe Jack, and sometimes I'll do mozzarella, sometimes I'll do cheddar. Today, though, I am going to do uh, some cheddar. I'm going to use up the very last of our mozzarella that we have, and then I'm going to do a taco blend. So really, the to me anyway, the cheese doesn't really matter uh, what type you use. However, if you want to go by what the recipe says, go ahead and do the cheddar cheese and the Monterey Jack. Okay, put the, uh, the mozzarella cheese in because there isn't that much. And now you mix it. Get it all mixed in together. You're going to spread it out on a 9 by 13 pan. You can do glass. You can do the aluminum throwaway trays. You can do like mini ones, whatever it is. If you want to do multiples, I've done that as well where I have done multiple little ones that are one single serving. And that way I just make one up at a time and leave the others frozen when I'm ready to have them. I just take them out and I pop them in my oven. So you do that, cheese. I know that the recipe calls for two cups. However, it's just getting sprinkled on top. So I'm just going to put on enough to cover it mixture so i'm gonna put on some of my taco blend here and there you have it now you pop it in the oven and at 350 for 25 to 30 minutes um, or until it starts looking brown and warm. You take it out and there you got it. Okay guys, and that is it. Quick, simple, in the oven at 350 for 25 to 30 minutes and it is done. Mine is not in the oven just yet. I have it ready to go. It's in my refrigerator. I want it to be done for when our movie night is happening tonight. So it's just in my refrigerator waiting to be put in so that it is nice and warm when we are ready to eat it. You pair it with some uh, chips or you could possibly do bread as well, but I prefer the chips and I recommend the Tostito chips and enjoy. Your friends will thank you, your family will thank you. Like I said, you can use it for 
football season that's coming around, if you're going to have parties, uh, take it to holiday events, or any showers that may be approaching, like baby showers or wedding showers. Um, but yes, it is super simple, super easy. It is easy to make ahead and freeze, and then you just take out and put it in the mic or in the oven to let it warm, or you cook it now and then freeze it, which is what I might have to do with at least half of mine, and then pop it back out when you want some and eat it. You can do it in single servings if you get a bunch of small, little um, like throwaway foil, tin foil that can go in the oven and you can do personal serving sizes it is really really good I promise everybody will thank you and speaking of thank you I want to thank the person who put it on Pinterest for me to find so that way I am able to make it and enjoy I will definitely leave it in the description box below so you can use it as well and I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in today, and I will see you guys next week. Have a good one. Okay, guys, and just to show you, this is what the Texas trash looks like when it's all done. It looks so good. Like... I cannot wait to eat this.